Hello, my name is Joel Worrell, and today I'm going to walk you through a new Relic 1 application called Workload GeoOps. The open source team designed this application to solve problems for retail customers and support organizations that may be operating brick and mortar stores and need to monitor physical infrastructure and software around geographies. Workload GeoOps is a great solution for distributed teams that organize their telemetry data around physical locations and want to understand the health of their workloads. So let's start with a quick look at workloads. Workloads is a brand new feature in the new Relic 1 platform that allows customers to organize the entities that describe and provide a specific service into a collection. Any entity that you can monitor in New Relic 1 can be part of a workload, including physical infrastructure like computers or point of sale devices, the services that run on those devices, serverless and cloud systems, or even front-end clients. You can construct workloads by manually adding entities or even create NERCL queries for automatically including entities into workloads based on tags or other metadata. Now, imagine using a workload to organize all the technology that supports a physical customer experience, from the mobile app that's used to pay for an item to the in-store devices that are processing that order, through to a business cloud payment system, and even the custom metrics that the business uses to measure effectiveness. All that can be collected into a workload. Now plot those workloads onto the physical locations that your team is asked to support, and that's what Workload GeoOps does. It leverages the power of New Relic's programmable platform to align collections of entities to physical locations. So let's walk through a demo. I'm going to start by clicking on my Southwest US map and examining a few of the points on the map. Now first what you see is a beautiful visualization of my stores with color-coded indicators as to how the technology that supports those locations is performing. Red indicates that there's an alerting problem. And with one click right here on the left hand side, I can open up whatever the open incident is and go examine what the issues are that I need to resolve right away. When I click on a location, I can see the detail pane pop up here on the right hand side, giving me access to the history of the incidents, the metadata that I've chosen to track on this location, and a list of the entities that are associated with this location. I can click on the incidents here, and open up and see that incident history. And I've got a link here to view the workload so I can go directly into the core New Relic 1 workload details screen, as well as links to my contact and runbook information so that I can support fast triage. There's even a custom indicator on the map summary that shows me how this location is performing against a KPI I defined. This could be a traditional monitoring golden signal, but you could also leverage New Relic's ability to capture custom events to track business performance metrics. And we can see in this detail pane how I can track that KPI over time. So this looks cool, but how easy is it to set up? Well, let's try one together. I'm going to create a new map for a series of locations in the Midwest. Choose my center point in my map. And click continue. Now I could manually set up all my locations using the GUI, but I've got better things to do with my time. Instead, I've grabbed an export of my physical locations and we're just going to upload that file. Now the file can contain all sorts of data here, my location data, my metadata, even the workloads and entities that are attached to the location. So I'm going to upload my sample data from the Midwest, and we'll see that I've got all my information already pre-configured. I'm going to click Save and Continue. From here, I can make adjustments in which workloads are attached to these locations, or how I'm tracking my custom KPI, click view map, and there we go. I've got my map. I can drill down here into my stores in Illinois. 
and I can see over here on the left hand side which of them have an open incident at the moment. And because workload geops, as well as almost all the applications in the new Relic One catalog, is an open source project, if there's more I need to do, I have the ability to take what I what we've delivered, modify it, and even contribute code back to the open source project if that makes sense. Finally, there's one more exciting feature that I want to highlight. Recently, my colleague John announced the release of the New Relic CLI, an open source command line utility from New Relic that allows DevOps teams to automate many of the functions of deploying New Relic's technology. One of those features is the ability to change configuration storage for a New Relic 1 application. And we've drafted a quick guide for how you can make use of the New Relic CLI to automatically deploy new maps or map locations alongside infrastructure in real time. So imagine scaling up a number of new services and having both the locations and the underlying technology that supports that location immediately and automatically configured, appearing in your workload GeoOps map in real time. That's a small example of the power of the new Relic 1 programmable platform. So I hope this gives you a good sense of what workload GeoOps can do for you and your team. Please check out the code on github.com newrelic and look for workload geoops in the new Relic 1 catalog.